Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we will learn about fill factor, pad index, as well as sort in tempdb options. And all these three options are useful when we are learning about the index. We know that index occupies disk space to represent its data structure. So the data structure is involved in both clustered as well as non-clustered indexes. We know that leaf node contains data pages. By default, the fill factor will be 100. This means the page will be fully loaded. The data page will change over the period of time when user is using the database or the client applications are making changes to the data, making changes to the database during those time data page will change say for example when data is added deleted or updated on the table with index the time the data page or the data structure that contains a leaf node as data page so those pages will change the change in data page ends up with splitting the page. So when such a split happens, data will be 50% in one page and 50% in new split page. So the change in data page ends up with splitting the page. It's a performance issue when there are more such splits for one chunk of data. Say a table record split on multiple pages. And it happens when there are more addition, deletion and updation. So for example, let's state that this is the data page that's fully packed with records of data and when user and if you see this are this is a leaf node for the data structure right so and it is by default fill factor of 100 and let's state that the page is fully loaded when some modification or updation is performed that expands the data then this will be split into two pages so in a school server a page will be in a fixed size we call that as page extent say for example instead of going for specific number let's state that x bytes or 1024 bytes or 8kb or we can simply call x bytes now this is split into two pages this is x byte and this one is x byte now page is split Right. If further updation and deletion happens for the same root level, the page will be again split. So likewise, this split will happen when there will be more addition, deletion, updation. So it's a performance issue when there are more such splits for one chunk of data. Suppose if uh, the index scan resulted on this split pages 
then it needs to pick data from all these split pages and assemble the content and then return to the query result. So this will be a performance issue when data is split into multiple pages. So we can avoid this to some level by specifying the fill factor to 70 or 90 percent. What happens when you specify it like this? Let's state that we specified 70 percentage of a fill factor. That means the record will be filled like this and there will be some reserved space and the new addition will be filled like this and there will be reserved space and if any updation or insertion deletion takes place on this specific page that will be placed here but a heavy usage will still end up in filling this page and resulting in split but you can extend i mean you can avoid this to some extent right so since we are using only 70 percent the 30 percent is reserved for addition deletion and updation to some extent and once that extent is over and then a split will happen but this will be useful instead of filling the page 100 percent and the split will happen immediate when there will be insert update and delete that happens which expands the page but here since we provided room for expansion that will be done in page one itself so that's what here we are saying we can avoid this to some level this in the sense the page split we can avoid this page split to some level by specifying the file factor as 70 to 90 percent so here we are talking about data page and leaf level nodes what about intermediate index pages we can use the pad index by enabling it once you enable it it will take the percentage of reserve space from fill factor fill factor if you specify 70 percent then pad index will be taken from this uh, fill specter number when index is created a school server need to create data structure which involves sorting now let's think about a database table which contains 75 millions of records or let's state 1 billion record and when you create the index say for example you are creating a non-clustered index that involves sorting so the sorting will be a costly operation since there are 1 billion of record and we know that the database may be busy serving the client request the client request may involve many query and that involves the disk io so already database is doing a heavy duty operation let's assume like that in a busy day and in a busy time during that time if you perform index creation that involves another heavy duty operation that needs sorting and disk io then the disk io will be highly loaded and the connected clients or user will see a performance issue because of racing condition between the disk io that's on this costlier index creation operation sorting as well as user uh, query retrieval that takes place in the database which involves disk io so when index is created a school server need to create data structure which involves sorting so when you create a new index and 
the index needs sorting sorting needs accessing the disk io so this will make more read and write operation sort in temp db option moves this disk io to temporary db and it's a containing disk let's say this is disk one all main db operation goes place i mean all main db operation takes place in this disk let's assume like that and when you state perform sorting in temp db the sorting goes to different disk that's tied to the temp db right so in this case when you create index disk io is performed on disk that is associated to the temp db and this will not intervene with uh, user client user's disk io operation so thereby um, the disk io is segregated to a different disk so the database tuning guide suggests to keep temp db in a disk which is different from the disk containing the original data file so that's the reason why they ask to keep temp db in a different disk all right so if any temp db related operation it's performed that will be done in a separate disk and there will be a different disk io interrupts that belongs to a disk which is different from the disk in which the original database files are stored so there will be separate to disk io and the index creation which involves heavy sorting is not affected by the uh, database original operation or the client applications operation all right now we will go to the demo and look at how to enable fill factor pad index and sort in timdb operations so we will go with uh, a refresh here So in the last video we saw how to create non-clustered index we will create that once again so in the non-clustered index we are choosing properties and under the options you can see sort in temp db by default it's false we will make it as true and fill factor it's not enabled zero means it will use all the disk now we are stating 70 here that means 70 percentage of page will be filled 30 percent is reserved for uh, any data modification so that we can avoid page splits pad index by default it is false once you turn it as true the intermediate level of index pages will have the same effect that means 70 percentage of intermediate index pages will be filled 30 percent is reserved for any data manipulation operation all right now we enabled all these options click ok here the index will be rebuilt here the operation is quicker but in a real-time database it will take time that's why we specified the option sort in temp db we have to enable it to true so this will increase the performance because disk io moves to a dis different disk if you have temp db allocated to a different disk that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye